This installation video provides a visual guidance for the installation of a Freedom Barrier Free 5P shower. Please refer to the installation manual for specific details relating to the installation of your shower. An able-bodied adult must be present during the arrival of your unit to receive, inspect, and note on the bill of lading any visual damage to the carton or crate that may have occurred during transit. Do not allow the driver to leave until this is done. Failure to do so may limit or void your claim with the LTL carrier for repair or replacement. Photograph any suspicion of damage for your records and contact accessibility professionals immediately. Check all loose accessories to confirm you received what you ordered and inspect for any damage during transit. Any defects, damage, or misalignment should be photographed and reported immediately to accessibility professionals. Now is the time to dry assemble your modular shower prior to moving into the bathroom space. This procedure can be performed on any clean, dry, and open space. This is an important step for ensuring that you have received the correct panels. The panels and pan are free from damage and defect. And the panels align properly when assembled prior to installing in the framing pocket. The following is a list of the required tools. The following is a list of the materials needed. Check the framing pocket to ensure it is sized properly with the dimensions provided on the framing diagrams page in your installation instructions. Next, check the pocket for square, plumb and level and make the necessary adjustments. Note, it is more common than not that adjustments will need to be made. Start by hanging a plumb bob from the framing beginning at the back wall. This is critical to your installation. In this demonstration, the wall was not plumb. A solution is to either shim the pan away from the wall or as in this demonstration, notch the stud that was bowed in the middle. Inspect the subfloor for level and structural integrity. A solid, non-flexing subfloor is required. Strengthen and replace any weak or damaged subfloor materials. Most floors are not perfectly level. Level subfloors and plumb walls are essential to trouble-free permanent assembly of your shower base and walls. Ensure pocket is clean from all debris. Even a small pebble can affect the draft to drain. Dry fit your pan to ensure it fits in the frame properly. Draw a line on the subfloor indicating the front point of the threshold. Remove pan. Now it is time to install the drain body. Remove the inside neoprene gasket and compression ring from the drain and set aside for a later step. Install the 2-inch no-caulk shower drain body on the pan with plumber's putty. Tighten the nut until snug and excess putty squeezes out around the flange. Remove excess. Prepare drain to meet local plumbing codes. The details for the drain core area can be found in the instructions on the framing diagrams page. A 10 inch by 10 inch opening around the drain is required to receive the shower pan and prevent the drain area from being pushed up out of its engineered position. Failure to do so will cause puddling in your shower. Stub out and extend the drain pipe two to four inches above the floor. The pan is ready to be adhered to the subfloor. For unlevel subfloors, apply a rapid curing thin set tile mortar to level and adhere base to the subfloor. The cure time for this procedure is as little as two hours. For perfectly level subfloors, transfer the measurements from the location of the leveling strips on the bottom of the pan to the subfloor using a marker or grease pencil. Apply approximately three tubes of clear 100% silicone adhesive in 2 inch to 3 inch diameter puddles at least 3 quarter inch in height. This will ensure robust contact in an evenly spaced pattern to marked areas on subfloor. Apply larger size puddle in drain area and a line of adhesive beneath threshold support brace as shown to ensure a permanent, strong, non-flexing base. Place pan in position. Check for level and check for draft to drain. Secure the pan to all available studs, shimming where necessary, countersinking number 10 stainless steel screws. 
This allows the screw head to be flush with the finished flange so as not to interfere with the finished wall installation. Check for level and draft to drain one final time. This will be the last opportunity to ensure a perfectly level pan that has draft to the drain before installing the walls. While the adhesive cures, the pan needs to be secured to the floor using one of the following two methods. Bracing is the preferred method as it has demonstrated over time to provide the best results. Brace the unit as close to the drain as possible, as shown. A properly braced threshold will result in flush contact to the subfloor along the entire threshold. Remove the braces and check draft to drain one final time. When bracing is not possible, an alternative method is to weigh down the pan with 5 gallon buckets filled with water as shown. Remove the weights and check draft to drain one final time. Cut the drain pipe even with the top of the rubber gasket using an inside pipe cutting tool. Using plumber's grease, lubricate the inside of the rubber gasket and slide over the drain pipe with beveled edge facing up. Push down until it seats itself. Then screw compression ring into place until tight. Snap the grid drain into place. Place protection on the floor to prevent scratches and dings to the finish while completing the assembly process. The protection can be cut from the cardboard packaging as the example shown here. Your shower features a pin and slot system that enables you to install all panels from the front finished side without requiring rear access. Caulk back wall pan ledge encircling all pins. Set the lower back panel into place. Check for level. Secure to studs with screws, shimming or notching where necessary. Repeat process for upper back panel. Refer to valve manufacturer's instructions for conventional sweat installations. For this demonstration, we will be installing a valve with PEX connections. First, find the desired location of your valve and apply protective masking tape over the area to be cut. Each wall panel has steel rod supports around the perimeter. Be sure to check that where you are about to drill does not interfere with one of these rods. Mark the center of your valve and drill a hole in the diameter listed in your valve instructions, then drill a 1 inch hole for the supply outlet. Mount the valve directly to the panel by connecting the front trim plate to the valve body using the mounting screws provided by the valve manufacturer. Next, mount the supply outlet to the shark bite eared elbow. The framing cove has been prepared to receive PEX pipe in a looped pattern to prevent kinking and allow ease of connection from the valve to the water supplies. Caulk all seams. Next, connect the shower head supply line to the elbow outlet. Connect the hot and cold water PEX supply lines using PEX or shark bite fittings. Note the installers are using 90 degree fittings which work best in this application. When the wall is resting and fully connected, now is the time to turn the water back on and test for leaks. Set the panel on ledge and slide backward into place. This may require force using a wood block and hammer as shown. Check for level and secure to studs using shims where necessary. Caulk pan ledge and vertical back wall seam of the panel opposite the valve wall. Set panel on ledge and slide backward into place. This may require force using a wood block and hammer as shown. Check for level, secure to studs using shims where necessary. Your shower is fully reinforced and ready to receive surface mount accessories now or anytime in the future. It is highly recommended that the client be involved in identifying the ideal placement of accessories according to their needs. Always mark, drill and caulk in a circular pattern around pilot holes for all accessories. The unit is designed to allow a 1 8 of an inch gap at the seams. Caulk all seams as well as the front edge of the threshold. Do not use your shower until caulk is cured. See caulk instructions for cure time. A premium caulk is recommended. 
A collapsible water retainer and weighted shower curtain are recommended and available for purchase. When installed properly and paired together, they provide an effective and safe solution for keeping water in your barrier-free shower during use. For water splash options and detailed installation instructions, refer to Freedom Shower's website. Congratulations! You have successfully installed your Freedom Barrier-Free Shower, providing years of safety and independence.